Today we're going to be checking out the Morgi RKB68 mechanical keyboard. Now this keyboard here is a low profile slash slim layout keyboard and it's going to lay fairly low on your desk. And it's also got this non-aggressive vibe because of the round keycaps which really gives it that friendly slash soft design language. And the keyboard is 100% compatible with Windows or Mac keyboards and it's gonna switch the keyboard layout. We'll cover that a little bit more later in the video. Now when receiving this package, the things that were included in the box were the keyboard of course, a detachable USB-C to USB-A cable, and a quick start guide which I would keep handy because it's gonna show you how to use some of the shortcuts on this keyboard. So the first thing to note about the keyboard is the design language. Currently the only uh, color that this keyboard comes with is this baby blue slash cotton candy looking color here. It's pretty much made of uh, fully alloy aluminum and it's covered with a glossy coating. Because it's made of alloy aluminum, it's not going to be bendable and it's also going to be cold to the touch, which is really going to give it that premium and high quality feel. And just like the front of the keyboard, the back is also made of this alloy material. And on the back, you also have two rubber bars on the upper and lower side of the keyboard, which are gonna be grips so that the keyboard doesn't slide around on your desk's wallet in use. Now, if you take a look at the top of the keyboard, you can see that there is a pink power button and you can use this thing in either wired or wireless mode. And the way you're gonna be able to use it in wireless mode is by connecting it via Bluetooth. And on the other side of the keyboard, you see three buttons which allow you to connect up to three devices and switch between them on the fly, which is a really cool feature for a mechanical keyboard that looks modern like this one here. The type of devices you'll be able to connect to this keyboard are things like your tablet, your laptop, your computer, or even your phone if you wanna use a keyboard on some of those types of devices. Now the keycaps are made fully of a PBT material and they're pretty nice feeling these keycaps because they have this like texture to them which feel really soft and nice overall. I'm also a fan of how round these keycaps are. Most keyboards out there also have like square edged keys and sharp corners but these here are very soft and rounded out and it's gonna really add for that friendly vibe with the keyboard which definitely is a cool and unique keyboard design language. The keyboard doesn't have any dedicated media buttons like pause, play, next, volume adjust. However, it does have them on the number pad and you can access them by holding the function key plus pressing any of the keys there to change your media. It does come with a cable that lets you use the keyboard in wired mode and the cable is gonna connect via USB-C and output to your computer via USB-A. The cable is detachable, so if you're into coiled cables and you wanna kinda customize the look of your layout on your desk, you can totally do that with this keyboard here. I don't have a coiled cable with me, but there are a lot of them that they sell online and they're all pretty versatile and compatible with most mechanical keyboards out there. So overall, with the design language and build quality of this keyboard, I'm a huge fan and I think this is probably one of the better and more high quality keyboards I've ever reviewed on this channel. So if you're looking for something high quality, this keyboard is gonna be a great option. Now getting into the key switches themselves, these key switches are removable and you can see that there are mechanical switches underneath and these are using the blue switches. Now, if you're not familiar with blue switches, they're more clicky and they give kind of like a loud sound when you push the keycap or any of the keycaps on the keyboard. So you can see by the typing test that it is a little bit on the louder side, which is what the blue switches do. Now, in terms of the actual typing experience, I'm really a fan with this keyboard because none of the keycaps wobble or rattle. Most mechanical keyboards I've reviewed, if you touch the space bar, it has like some rattle to it or any of the smaller slash larger keys, they just kind of wobble and rattle. And when you press into them, it feels like you're I don't know, it just feels kind of flimsy. But with this keyboard here, any key that I press or try to wobble around with my finger, it just feels like it's really firm and there's nothing loose or shaky on the keyboard. So that really makes the typing experience much nicer and 
It's really pleasant to type on this keyboard. Definitely a big fan. Now in terms of RGB lights, this keyboard does not have any light up keys or anything like that. It's pretty much gonna be more leaning on the minimal side of things rather than that gamer look and vibe. However, I did mention earlier that the keyboard is compatible with both Windows and Mac, and you can change the way the keyboard functions. If you wanna switch the keyboard to a Windows layout, you hold function and press the Z key. And if you want it to work on Mac computers, you hold function and press the X key. And that's gonna change the layout of how the keyboard actually works. There's no software with this keyboard that you can install to do macros or anything like that, but I guess that's not really necessary for most users out there that are looking for a slim and clean mechanical keyboard like this one here. So pros and cons with this keyboard, I'm definitely a fan of the build quality of this keyboard. This thing is made fully of aluminum, which is gonna make it feel premium and non-bendable. And you're really gonna feel that when you're using this keyboard. And also with the keys, there's no wobble or rattle, and that's gonna be awesome because when you're typing on it, you're gonna feel like this thing was well put together. The other thing I really liked about this keyboard is that it is a slim keyboard as well as a pretty much 10 keyless keyboard. It comes with 68 keys, but it's the size of a TKL keyboard, which means it's not gonna have a number pad. I'm not a fan personally of keyboards with number pads because I feel like it kind of gets in the way of my mouse. I'm typically used to using my mouse more closer to my keyboard. And I like this keyboard because there's not gonna be a number pad kind of getting in my way. And then of course, the unique thing about this keyboard is that soft and friendly design language it has going for it. All of the keys and corners on this keyboard are pretty much rounded out and it gives you that really friendly vibe, especially with this baby blue slash cotton candy color. Now, the only downside with this keyboard is that it doesn't have RGB lights. And I know some people out there are really into RGB lights, but this keyboard doesn't have that option. So keep that in mind if you are planning on purchasing this keyboard. The other thing about this keyboard is that it is a little bit on the pricier side. As of making this video, it runs for $140. However, I think that's a pretty fair price for this keyboard because of how high quality the build is. It's kind of hard to showcase how high quality the keyboard is on camera, but when you're actually typing on it or actually holding this thing and feeling it, you can tell right away that this thing is not cheap. It's really just a premium, well-built keyboard. This keyboard isn't for you and you want something more gamery and aggressive looking. I did review the Rocat TKL keyboard, which is also a slim keyboard with a TKL, TKL layout like this one here. I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below, along with where you can purchase this Morgi keyboard here. And if you're interested in staying up to date with what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you in the loop. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you in the next one.